Hey guys, I'm Shadow Knight Peldin and welcome to my channel. So before you click away, this video in particular has three purposes. The first being my channel trailer, maybe for a little while until I make a new one. And it's also the speed paint of my current new channel banner. And it's also the speed paint that I had planned for this week. So no, I'm not being lazy. It just happened that it all aligned to some extent. Okay, so if you're new here, hello, I'm Veronica. I'm the one who's running this channel. Uh, my username is usually Shadow Knight Paladins. I'm usually called Shadow. So you can call me Shadow as well if you want. But if you know me in real life, please just call me as you would normally. <laughs> right. So this channel is an art YouTube channel for now. Or right now and probably into the future, it's gonna be an art YouTube channel since I love doing art, I always do it, and I just record what I do. So I've had this channel since 2008 and perhaps to avoid some of the confusion when you scroll down through my video playlists I have I've had this channel since 2008 as I mentioned and the first two videos that I uploaded there were drawings of my original characters and it was teaching well no one it was teaching no one how to draw their hair and then I left the channel alone didn't do anything with it for a while and then I got into Utaos if you're not familiar with that, they are voice synthesizing programs similar or ex almost exactly like Vocaloid. So if you're familiar with Vocaloids, Utao is something very much similar. I left that alone again after doing that for about 3-6 to six months. And now I am an art channel again. <laughs> I've returned to being an art channel. It's like it's come full circle for now. So if you see like song videos on my channel it's probably because of back when i was still into the utao thing right so originally this channel was intended as a place for me to dump where i practice video editing because i learned how to video edit in college and i enjoyed it and i wanted to practice the skill more and it so happens that when i live stream my my drawings i also keep a copy of the, the live stream what happens in the live stream so, uh, I had the raw footage, so I just edited those, polished it up, added voiceovers, added music. And while I was doing that, I discovered the artist side of YouTube, and I started following artists here like BDJ, like Holly Brown, Mark Kelly, Jazza, uh, Ikuri, etc., etc., name dropping, haha, <laughs> kidding. But I discovered those people and I realized that there is a community for artists and I can return to being a person to up who uploads art like I first did so many years ago. So that's what I'm doing now. And since originally it was just my speed paints from live streams, they were mostly digital pieces, but now I've expanded my repertoire. Fancy word. I've expanded my repertoire to include my traditional drawings because I also do that a lot so I now upload traditional drawings um, like watercolor, acrylics, oils, colored pencils sometimes I venture out of that and do pastels when I want to practice and then with digital art, well it's digital art sometimes I do, but most of the time I do drawings sometimes I might sneak in like graphic design or um, vector, draw vector icon illustrations with Adobe Illustrator uh, so that's what I'm doing and the content is usually well anime style drawings sometimes they're or quite often nowadays they're fan art of things that I'm into like Giri on Ice or Love Live or Fate Grand Order or just the Fate fantasy, franchise in general uh, the Tales of series like Abyss, Celia, Zestiria um, but I also do my own concepts, my own ideas, and those come in every now and then. So that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys will subscribe. Um, join me. Well, subscribe is such a overused word. I want you guys. I hope you guys will join me. I know I'm not the best artist, and I have a lot of things to work on. But maybe you can join me in this little art journey I've been taking pretty much my entire life. Right. 
So let's now move on to the second and third section. For my subscribers or the people who actually do watch me and have been before this entire thing started happening. Hey guys, welcome back. And the thing that we're doing now, right now, is my current newly made channel banner. And it's because I made a Facebook page recently. I guess I'm announcing it here as well now. Um, I have a new Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash And it needed a header. And I wanted that header to have every, every social media site where you can follow me at on it. And I decided to update my YouTube channel banner as well. So here we are. And the idea here is I wanted something that had a lot of space on the side so that I could dump the text and the icons and whatever information I need but still be eye-catching when someone clicks on my page or clicks on my channel. So the idea became, like I thought, what is the, what is an idea or a concept or a, a thing that could draw people in? And I thought of a door, a glass door that leads or shows a view of something pretty nice like the beach or the forest so i decided to draw that so there will be a golden glass door later on top of this on top of my trees that i worked so hard on that i forgot gets eventually covered up by the door oh <laughs> that makes me sad because <laughs> I, I worked so hard on the trees and the, and the ocean and the clouds and then a good part of that gets over covered by the door so like at least I tried hard. So the goals for this particular piece was, aside from what I mentioned with the banner thing, was I wanted to work on backgrounds because I'm not very good at them and I don't super enjoy doing them. I'm fine with drawing them but I really dislike coloring them in and having to work out on the little details. So the goal, one of my goals is to work on more backgrounds, don't get lazy with it and just do it if you get that meme hi um, the second one was to play with color theory and color palettes and lighting and shadows so the main colors here as you can see are blues and greens because of the forest and the ocean and sky i wanted to make in a nice looking a nicely colored piece i feel yeah so since the ocean and the trees are my main focus. I picked out two colors that would complement this particular color scheme. And you will see later I picked a sort of old rosy color and gold for the door. Also, I tried a new technique with coloring here. So with the trees, well let's start with the first thing. With the clouds, I wanted it to have form but also look fluffy as clouds usually do so it took a bit of experimenting and I found that to make this fluffy effect the clouds in the background I blended it out with a blendy brush uh, depends on what brush you use but I used a more blendy brush and then I put a new layer of white on top of that to create the form and shape that clouds usually do have and I added shadows because apparently these clouds have shadows. And then for the for the ocean, uh, the reference photo I was using for the clouds had a very beautiful blue to green, sea green ocean. So I just copied that. With the trees in the background, I decided to actually change the base itself. So usually I just use one entire color for that, and then just differentiate between the trees with just shadows and I wanted to change the technique and there's nothing super remarkable about the doors and the walls so it's I, I just like drawing shiny metal objects like doors and armor and swords <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much the piece I'll just add some nice glowy things to fill up the space on the sides and I really think that I was able to achieve that inviting feeling that I wanted to give off. Anyway, if you're new, please subscribe and like. Uh, please join me as I try to get better at art. And please follow me on Tumblr, on Tumblr Instagram, DeviantArt, Facebook as well since well, that's a new thing. They're all in the description down below. It's linked over there. 
and well I'll be showing the PV first so that's I can't really say my outro just yet <laughs> So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.